Hello, everyone. Welcome to this webinar as part of our Shimazu Solutions for Pharma series. I'm Brian Demansky, Strategic Collaboration Scientist at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. I'll be your host today as we discuss the Shimazu SFC lineup and how collaboration with key pharmaceutical manufacturers shaped the design and implementation of our semi-preparative SFC solutions. Before we start, I want to share a couple of notes for our viewers. The webinar console has a variety of items to help enhance your experience and interaction with this content. In the screen, the slides will appear in the center of the console. Directly under the slides, you will see the related content section with clickable links relevant to the material being presented today. On the top left is the widget for questions and answers. Please submit your questions at any time and we will reply. Just below the Q&A box are survey questions that you may fill out any time during or after the presentation. On the right is a brief bio and a widget to request a demo from your local Shimazu representative. Finally, at the bottom of the console are icons to bring up all these widgets in case they are minimized or hidden. All right, let's get started. If you're just joining us, I'm Brian Demansky, and our talk today is Harnessing the Power of Collaboration, Shimazu's SFC Journey. So rather than having a standard agenda slide, we're going to start today's presentation with three seemingly random ideas that will tie together as we tell our story. The first being the innovations of a Romanian aviation pioneer, the second being the piezoelectric effect, and the third being the rainforest. So while I don't want to diminish the effect that controlling the density of the supercritical CO2 phase can have uh, and the benefits it can confer to chromatography, I think there's a more compelling argument to be made. And this graph, I think, says it all. So when we look at this graph, the y-axis is the log P of a group of molecules. In this case, the same molecules are represented by the gray dots and the green dots. The gray dots are the distribution of log P versus retention percent on a USP L1 phase. And we can see a very clear trend that with increasing log PAL comes increasing retention percentage. And there's a very clear regression that can be followed. And this is why with reverse phase separations, we can use things like the hydrophobic, hydrophobic subtraction model to do relatively reliable predictions. However, when we look at the distribution of the green dots and the retention percent versus modifier, we can see that log pow alone isn't going to be a determining factor. And there's a much different selectivity that we can get out of a similar USPL1 phase when running under SFC conditions. So when you have challenging chromatography or difficult separations, know that your existing column sets can actually be used under SFC conditions and produce considerably different separations. So when Shimazu brought their analytical SFC instruments to the market, they did so with a number of innovations and no less than six patents for things ranging from the online supercritical fluid extraction system, its multi-vessel capability, and at least four patents related to the high sensitivity back pressure regulator. This revolutionary design comes with benefits like ultra low internal volume, a two-stage back pressure regulation mechanism that allows for a very smooth baseline by having a stepper motor for course control and a piezoelectric diaphragm for very fine control that's able to cycle it up to 1,000 hertz to control back pressure and keep a very steady baseline. Because of that ultra-low internal volume of the back pressure regulator itself, we can do things like splitless introduction to mass spec detectors. This allows all of the mass put on column to reach the detector, rather than traditional SFC MS systems where a split must be incorporated prior to the back pressure regulator to avoid undue dispersion by going through a larger volume in traditional back pressure regulators. To make these innovative functions more accessible, we've also made the system quite flexible with a variety of configuration options, everything from a single column, single detector system, to adding a second column oven, column switching valves, and a flow selection valve, 
to give us a 12-column chiral screening system, or to add an additional pump and become a hybrid SFC UHPLC system with accompanying software to manage those transitions from mode to mode, as well as organize methodologies. With the capability of the supercritical fluid extraction system, we can do online UV or online MS experiments, as well as offline supercritical fluid extraction from a variety of different matrices. With the capability to use open access software, we can place SFC MS into environments where we're doing reaction monitoring, purity assessment, or other purification related tasks with ease, requiring very little training to use and unlock the power of SFC for those tasks. The programmable nature of the Shimazu Auto Sampler also gives us the ability to do things like multiple injections in a single experimental run for high throughput experimentation. Here we see an example of work conducted by Merck uh, and published using the Shimazu SIL 30. We can also do similar pretreatment files and expanded uh, abilities with the SIL 40 Auto Sampler as well. When we add in features like overlay software, such as our method scouting solution, it gives us that ability to control in a very point and click intuitive interface, those 12 column systems managing many different pumps, many different solvents in order to simplify any method development tasks you may have related to chiral or achiral screening. By specifying just those few parameters in the user interface, a batch table is automatically created that prepares the columns and takes care of any equilibration necessary between runs, allows for an individual base method file with detector parameters to be used for all of the methods that are created, creates the gradient time program as specified by the user in the graphical interface in the batch table, automatically names files and puts them into user-friendly directories so that equilibration runs can be examined but don't clutter up the data that you're looking for. So with all of these wonderful features for analytical SFC, the question from our customers became, so this is great, do you have PrEP2? And unfortunately at the time, we had to answer, not yet. But before we get to the development story of the SemiPrep SFC, we need to talk about a development story that preceded that, where working with an individual customer who was in process of bringing in samples from a number of exotic locations like the rainforest, seeking cures derived from natural resources, had a need to develop an instrument surrounding the purification of those products into shelf-stable compounds that would be able to be interrogated at a later date. What this led to was seven years of dedicated development on hardware and software, demonstrations for leading pharma companies worldwide, sophisticated hardware that allowed for very high recoveries, advanced features, novel new stationary phases, but limited adoption because of having a very well-defined workflow and the fact that requirements for new drug candidates were changing. By the time those seven years had passed, the paradigm in drug discovery had moved on from the rainforest to other things. What was needed was a new way, and that new way was brought to us through the Enabling Technologies Consortium, a collective of key opinion leaders from major pharma companies who wanted to get together and create RFQs for vendors rather than having individual companies within that group work with instrument vendors to create a product that defines then a narrow workflow and may only work for a handful of different customers. 
They wanted to look at their common needs and find vendors willing to work with them to create a collaborative product. The next area you see prep and its associated prep solution software represent the fruit of these labors. This was a product developed from scratch in collaboration with the ETC based on the requirements they provided. An agile workflow and methodology was employed to create many touch points between software developers and users in the lab to make sure that the implemented solution had an ease of use level and a user friendliness unseen before with SFC hardware. In order to meet the needs of pharma purification, the following requirements were designed. That there be an easy to use, simple graphical interface, the ability to do on the fly method editing, in other words, control, flow rate, other important method parameters in real time, the ability to do stacked injections in order to maximize throughput, to have point and click fraction settings, and to be able to choose directly which fraction vessel or waste was selected. The need to support multiple channel detectors, including multiple MS channels, has also been added as a feature as time has gone on in correlation with ETC desires. The Prep Solutions UI is divided into two segments. The method screen provides a single screen look for all of the method parameters, fraction settings required prior to starting the run. While the monitor screen allows for real-time observation of results, as well as on-the-fly method changes. When purification separations require there to be a high level of retention, in order to gain the necessary separation for purification, it's often advantageous to use a stacked injection scheme where rather than waiting for your target compounds to elute before making the next injection, we simply wait for the elution window to clear and make a number of multiple injections to increase our throughput. We can see that for a compound that's retained for 10 minutes prior to elution and has a three minute elution window, we can end up getting three times the purification capacity by using a stacked injection scheme. In order to combat some of the problems identified by the ETC with existing and legacy systems, the gas liquid separator portion of purification needed to be examined. And with traditional cyclonic or centrifugal separation, some issues occur that can lead to dispersion and loss of sample, carryover or contamination between collected fractions, and a lower overall recovery and yield. By looking at an alternate technology to that cyclonic style of separation, we went in a very different direction and have come up with our innovative Lotus Stream gas liquid separator. By exploiting the Coanda effect, Henri Coanda, namely a Romanian aviation pioneer, had discovered a, an aerodynamic effect where liquids will follow a curved surface. So by allowing the eluent to diffuse to a lower pressure, the CO2 is able to separate without bubbling and without aerosolization from the liquid portions of the eluent, allowing more of the sample to stay in solution with the liquid eluent than is lost often to nebulization or other aerosolization events that can occur in cyclonic separators. That ability to easily clean and get high recoveries from the device is an added benefit. The design of the Lotus Stream GLS is also applicable across a wide range of different flow rates. We can see here images of collection at 150 mils per minute, where the stream of eluent is very consistent and very tight. We can focus that into any number of larger scale collection vessels, such as tubes or bottles. And we can also support very low flow rates. Here on the right, we can see examples 
running at between 3 and 10 milliliters per minute, collecting into small vessels like vials or into a 96 well deep plate. Now, here we're showing this with the standard Lotus Stream gas liquid separator. Recently, Shimadzu has released the mini gas liquid separator, which is ideal for applications where we're doing fractioning or micro fractioning at flow rates of five milliliters or less, oftentimes coupled to an analytical system. So we have a range of options for fractioning, both semi-preparative all the way down to analytical scale. In an effort to demonstrate the efficiency of the Lotus Stream, our application chemists looked at a traditional semi-volatile compound, limonene, and the recovery that was available from that compound. Traditionally, with SFC systems, a much lower recovery is observed than in the first experiment that we ran. When we found that it was 92.3% rather than the expected result in the 80s to uh, maybe 90%, the experimenter thought, this is too high. We need to run the experiment again. When the experiment was run again, the recovery was even higher at slightly over 95%. And all of that is down to the design and the way in which the Lotus Stream gas liquid separator keeps that liquid flow attached to the device and therefore keeps the solute in solution as the gas and the liquid separate. As another demonstration of the Lotus Stream gas liquid separator, we examine tulfanamic acid, which is traditionally used as a reference compound with low solubility in SFC conditions. What this requires then for normal fractionation or for reliable fractionation without precipitation is an increased amount of modifier either in the separation uh, fluid or added as makeup. However, when we're looking to use FFC for purifications, one of the great advantages is reduced dry down time. So if possible, we would love to be able to reduce that overall amount of liquid eluent that remains in our fraction. So here we were able to demonstrate that even at higher flow rates, at the same 20% modifier, we were able to realize increased recovery. But what was more important is even when we reduced that modifier by a factor of four down to 5%, we still did not have issues with precipitation and we were able to maintain a high rate of recovery even with a low solubility component. The gas liquid separator, again, allows more of the solute to stay in the liquid state without a disruption into an aerosol. With its simple two-piece machining, easy screw-apart separation, and replaceable diffuser disc, the Lotus Stream GLS is also very easy to clean. The entire assembly can simply be placed in isopropanol and placed in a sonicator for cleaning periodically. Rinse solutions are also available in the run to supply uh, an additional rinse solvent if carryover becomes an issue. Members of the consortium also voiced concerns about the size of existing and legacy systems. So in order to combat that, we created a design that does not require a separate chiller to be floor mounted, as with many other systems. Instead, we have a compressor style cooling unit that is only the size of the pumping unit and is therefore part of the system on the bench top as pictured here. This reduces the overall system footprint by up to 40% versus competitive systems. So where all of this has finally led is to the Nexera UC prep lineup. The stacked fraction system is designed to that original ETC specification, where we use a combination injector and collector to do large scale collection intended to be for purification of repeated compounds and designed around that idea of the stacked injection. So each of the fraction containers is large with its own dedicated gas liquid separator. 
The multi-fraction system allows us to use the same pumps and the same capacity, but with a separate injector and collector. And rather than being individual gas liquid separators on bottles, we're using here an adaptation of our open bed FRC40 product with the GLS enabled to move around in an XY direction. We can then collect into a variety of different test tubes and typically smaller fractions or runs where we have a number of different compounds that we're trying to isolate. So this is a wonderful adaptation to be used with uh, purity, impurity isolation uh, or other changing requirements for small scale purification. By working collaboratively with members of the pharmaceutical industry, we've been able to develop flexible analytical and prep hardware to suit a number of different tasks and workflows around the purification suite, as well as in other areas of pharmaceuticals. We've achieved higher recovery ratios and lower carryover with our innovative gas liquid separator design. We've also created a compact space-saving CO2 cooler that allows for the system to be a true benchtop system. And by allowing for the use of dedicated and easy-to-use software throughout the different phases of use for SFC systems, we can truly create a user-focused experience with PrEP solutions providing that purification support, method scouting solution allowing for analytical scale-up and method development, and open solutions being that walk-up, easy access, group use style of software. So by looking instead of at one customer's needs, the needs of many customers, we develop products and solutions that fit a number of different use case scenarios. So I hope this has been a fun and entertaining journey for you, and I appreciate your attention, and I would welcome any questions to be submitted through the question widget. As a reminder, under the Related Content section, you can find more information about our analytical and semi-preparative SFC solutions in the Nexera UC family. If you've not had the chance, we ask that you fill out the survey on the left of the console to provide feedback and request additional information. We encourage you and your colleagues to sign up for the Shimazu e-newsletter through that survey. The monthly newsletter includes information regarding upcoming webinars and events, encompassing a wide variety of application areas. For more information on the Nexera UC lineup, visit us at www.solutionsforpharma.com or contact your local Shimazu representative. Once again, thank you all for attending and participating. We will send an email with a link to view a recorded version of this presentation anytime. And have a great day.